Hello everyone, it is Didi here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. I just want to get off started by saying this video has taken me forever to film because I couldn't figure out how to film it, and so I said, screw it. Yes, those are the sides of where the paper ends, but look at this dude. He's way too tall. He doesn't. He do, still doesn't even fit all the way in the frame. Um, so... This is uh, a Lego Eternal set in our Shadow. I don't remember the set number. I had the box, threw it away. I had the instruction book out somewhere. Wait, there's the instruction book. Hold on. I just found it. Give me a second. Okay. Set 76155 in our Shadow. Okay. And it's obviously from the Eternals, which um, comes out on Disney Plus in 12 days from now, actually. Well, this is being filmed on January 2nd, so we'll see when this video comes out. Yes. Food. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I got bacon. Some really good bacon, too. Look at that. Crispy. Um, but I... <laughs> so, anyways. Um, I saw the movie in theaters. I thought it was good. A good. Not a great movie, but not a bad movie. I'd put it in the middle. I'd say it was a good movie. I actually liked it. Okay? I loved learning more about the Celestials... And how everything in the MCU began. It's if you want to stay up to date with everything in the MCU, you have to watch it. Otherwise, you're not going to understand shit. But I am going to talk about certain things in this video. But I'm going to try to make it a shorter one just because of how big this dude is and how little room I have to work with. And now I have to hold the phone with my hand so the camera's going to be a little bit shaky. But before I start doing that, I'm going to stuff my face with this bacon. All right, I'm back. So, where was I? Because I ate bacon, I watched the end of Avengers Endgame, and did a few other things. Um, okay, so I'm going to start by reviewing Arishim, and then I'll get to the minifigures. Okay, well, I guess not Arishim. I'm going to start off with this Deviant, which in the movie, uh, the Deviants are based off of whatever animal they eat. So this is the Bat Deviant, which is the one that Icarus, uh, I think he kills it. When he's flying, or it's the one he uses his laser eyes on in the trailer. But you can hold it from here and just fly it around. But again, I really like these pieces, these cool reflective things. But, you know, nothing too special going on there. But it's Arishim that I want to get a good look at. Because this guy is huge, and I plan to keep him built for as long as possible. Um, so... In the movie, okay, spoilers ahead. In the movie, Arisham is revealed to be the villain. And I, I didn't expect that to happen. And holy hell, when this dude talks, it's terrifying and like just chilling and a very unsettling. But the whole scene where they he was showing Cersei the beginning of time and how the Celestials are born was just so beautiful. The cinematography was amazing. Um so I don't know exactly how tall he is, but I know that I'm going to have to take the phone out, or I don't have to take the phone out of stand, but okay. Starting from the bottom, we have these really cool disc pieces made of the same color as the tentacles on the wings of the Deviant. This is supposed to be his foot. I'm going to move him closer just so he doesn't like fall over. Okay. So this is supposed to be his foot, I guess. Um, but we have a sticker here, here, and then I don't think... Oh, wait, there are. There's a sticker on that side, and then in there, and there, and there. And these all fold down like that, but it's meant to be his legs. And then there's a joint right here for the knees. Let me see if I can get it to do it. Yep. Uh, there's a sticker on these four Nexo Knight shields here, and then one there. Uh, if I turn them around, this is with the back of his lower torso looks like he's got these big bases on the bottom to make it look like he's standing up which is clever um and then moving up a little bit for the chest okay this is where the camera's gonna get shaky i love the incorporation of all the pink to show where he's kind of like broken and stuff and that's what all the stickers are for uh and then in the center here there's a button if you push it it actually lights up in the front with a light brick which is very simple it's just a little build it's this and then you just slide it in there till it connects there's a sticker here and here um 
His head is probably my favorite part because of this. It, it looks like his face. It's perfect. But it's a little too round in my opinion, but I, I like it. Two stickers up on top there. And then for his big shoulder pads here, there's a sticker there. And then these can move. Same thing over here. And then on the back, this is where you push the button. Uh, his hands. Okay, maybe I can put it back down now. His hands have stud shooters, but they also have a spot where you can put one of the uh, Eternals right there, and he can hold them. Uh, and then there's a joint here. Nothing too much going on with the arms, but just Arsham is an amazing Lego build, but so fragile. And I wish that he was sturdier, but I plan to keep him put on display because of how cool he looks. Like, who doesn't want a giant Lego Celestial on display? Like, come on. But, um, that's it for the builds. Now let's look at, uh, the minifigures. So first off, we have Icarus, which is yet again very inaccurate to the movie, especially in the face and the hair. Um, looks nothing like Richard Madden, and I'm sure you can all agree. But the torso and legs are really cool. They look exactly like it did in the movie, but my god, just this... No, this is not... This is not Icarus. This, this is... This is this this is Icarice. Up next is Cersei, which she was one of the more important of the Eternals in the movie. And again, her torso and legs are perfect. I think they nailed the face print and the hair. I don't know if there's a day. Yeah, there's another facial expression, but it's nice to get this piece in black. I can use it for Jessica Jones or something. Um, but nothing too much going on. Uh, but I, I honestly have I've only seen the movie once, so I don't remember all of their powers. So, I don't remember what she can do, but I do know that she can talk to the Celestials. Up next is Kingo, which you can, I believe you can only get him in this set. He was one of my favorites in the movie. Uh, he has another facial expression there. Um, I like his torso and his legs, and then of course he's got this thing, which we all know those work, but they never actually want to work for me, for me to demonstrate, so I'm just going to stop trying. And, of course, it doesn't go back in his hand. But I, this, the only thing that changes is the hair and maybe the arms. But other than that, this minifigure is perfect. And then lastly, we have Ajak, who uh, I remember specifically. She could talk to the Celestials. And when she was killed by Icarus, she passed her power on to Cersei. Uh, she comes with this golden dagger-looking thing. Um, but they also include uh, this big sword and then this little mini dagger. Um, she does have another facial expression, uh, but Ajax had, like, a tiara crownish looking thing for most of the movie, so if you wanted, you could use the Wonder Woman 84 hair for her to make it more accurate, um, but that's it for the minifigures, let's take a look at the, uh, instructions and wrap everything up. And this is what the instruction booklet looks like, it's really tall, and then in the back... See, okay, look. Look in the top corner there. That's Icarus. Who is that? That is Icarus. And then if we go to the back, it has advertisements for the other sets. The only one I do not have is the Rise of the Domo, which I plan to get, and I will do a review on once I get it. It is the only set that comes with Fastos and Druig, so of course I gotta get it so that I have all of the Eternals. Um, but there's that. Overall, this set is not amazing. I'd say just good i mean the minifigures are kind of meh uh the deviant build is kind of unnecessary but i like the average build a lot and plan to keep it on display like i said for as long as i possibly can um i do wish he was a little bit more less or like a little less fragile uh, excuse me but you know it is what it is so <sighs> uh sorry if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, leave a comment down below. Who is your favorite Eternal in the Eternals movie? Uh, hit the subscribe button, turn notification for every time I post a new video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.